programmers welcome back to coding bytes in this video we will be discussing half pyramid and inverted half pyramid using numbers stars alphabets etc so firstly let's look at the logic for printing a full pyramid using stars and one such example pattern is this like i have emphasized in my previous pattern printing episode the first step to solving a pattern printing problem is to analyze it Analyze and analyze as long as you identify something in common between the rows and columns. So now let's analyze this pattern and note down some findings. If you observe this pattern, the first row has clearly one element. The second row has three elements. The third row has five elements. The fourth row has seven elements and so on. So this means in our pattern every row has consecutive odd number of elements 1 3 5 7 and so on well the next observation we can make is every row has spaces on either sides of the stars for example the spaces before the stars are called as leading spaces and the spaces after the stars are called as trailing spaces so this brings us to the conclusion that we need to print spaces even before we print stars also this brings us to the next conclusion that we might need three for loops the first loop that is the ith loop is just to iterate from row to row and the jth loop to print the spaces in every single row so again here we would be printing the leading spaces and the kth loop to print the required number of stars in every single row so now let's get started with writing down the logic step by step I have already written the outer for loop which is nothing but the ith loop. The purpose of the ith loop is to simply iterate from row to row. So as discussed, it goes from i is equal to 1 to i less than or equal to n. n here is a number inputted by the user. It is basically the number of rows of stars to be printed. For example, in this case, our n is equal to 4. So since our outer for loop is done, now let's get into the inner for loops. That is the jth loop. which prints the number of spaces required in every single row so before we write down the logic for the jth loop let's get into understanding or analyzing it a little bit more so when i is equal to 1 that is the first row the number of spaces required are 3 when i is equal to 2 the spaces required are 2 i is equal to 3 the number of spaces required is One. So this pattern can be generalized and written as n minus i. So since in this case our n is equal to four, four minus one will give us three. Four minus two will give us two. Four minus three will give us one. So this pattern works. So our jth loop will go from j is equal to one to j less than or equal to n minus i. J plus plus. Its purpose is to simply print spaces. So there is nothing inside the printf statement. So well, we are done with spaces as well. The only thing left is to print the stars. So this will be done using the kth loop. So as analyzed previously, every row has consecutive odd number of stars. This means the generalized pattern can be two n minus. One. This can be written as for k is equal to one to k less than or equal to two into i minus one to k plus plus. Inside the printf statement, what goes is the star. So that's about the logic for printing a full pyramid guys. So you can also print out this pattern using numbers and alphabets. All you have to do is replace this statement with this while you want to print out print it out with numbers. That is percentage d comma j. 
And similarly, when you want to print it using alphabets, replace it with this statement, percentage C, care of J plus 64. In case you have any doubts as to why it is care of J plus 64, then go check out the previous pattern printing video. We have discussed it in depth. So next is inverted full pyramid, a pattern of something of this sorts. So if you analyze it, the only change that we need to make in our existing code is with respect to the outer for loop, which is the ith loop. So this loop now changes to i is equal to n to i greater than or equal to 1 i minus minus. That's it guys. This gives us the logic for inverted full pyramid. So that's about it guys, that's the logic for full pyramid and inverted full pyramid using stars, numbers and alphabets. So if you have any doubts regarding the problems that we have discussed, please feel free to post it in the comment section of this video and we will answer it for you. Also, if you want to know the solutions for these two programs in other languages like C++, Java, Python, then make sure you check out the link in the description box of this video. Since you are now familiar with pyramid pattern printing, as a practice exercise, you can go out and try Pascal's and Floyd's triangle. In case you have any doubts while trying out these two programs, then come back and check out the link in the description box of this video. Hey YouTube, how are you doing? Stay tuned to Facebook for more awesome videos. Don't forget to subscribe.